What is up, uh, boys and girls? Now, we all know last night I made a video on a gotcha channel that goes by the name of Wise Fox. And, uh, well, you guys absolutely demolished that video to, like, 40k views already. So, uh, thank you. But, you know, thanks to my boy and Gween, I've been put on to so many gotcha tubers that honestly make me want to contract AIDS and die. Well, I mean, I shouldn't address him as in Gween. It's the duck, dude. He's, uh, come out as a PNG tuber. That's actually his sexuality. But that's besides the point because today we're going to be watching Nahima Rahman, which is like one of the biggest gotcha channels and up uh, just like wise fox they're cringe i don't know it's like for some reason wise fox and nahima rahman are like intertwined their communities are like closer together than like my eyes but you know what let's just get straight into it check out the content and uh see exactly why i don't like nahima rahman's content okay let me show y'all something let me just wait my oc is breathing Okay, let me look at another one. Wow, this one is also breathing. Wow, all my gotcha club OCs are breathing. I would say I'm joking, but uh, yeah, that was literally the entire video. It's worse than Wise Fox. There's no memes. There's no music, it's just text-to-speech in your ears, blasting full value. How these gotcha channels manage to get as bad as they do, I don't understand. I, I can't explain to you why these gotcha channels are the way they are, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. I, I don't understand Like, it. seriously, I saw a few comments on my video last night, like, uh, a reason why us text-to-speech YouTubers use uh, text-to-speech is because our parents don't want our voice on the internet, and listen... I can understand that, all right? Personally, my mom has always been pretty supportive uh, uh, supportive of me doing the YouTube. Uh, yeah, she was pretty much, like, encouraging of me. So, I mean, I understand we all have different families, different parents, and stuff like that. But if you're that young to the point where you can't even have your voice in a video, I don't think you should have a YouTube channel, uh, like, genuinely. I mean, dude, the the limited, like, I think, how, how do you have to be to make a Google account? Like 13, I don't know, 12, something like that. And if you you're not that you're not that age, and you can't even speak on your channel, yeah, you you probably shouldn't be making these videos. Just saying, just saying. Give me lips before I kill you. What? Bro, what is with gotcha tubers in the Among Us sussy music? Like, why is Fox had it? And now when, you know, uh, Nahima Rahman has it in her videos or their videos, it, it's it's there too. I mean, dude, it's it's crazy. I, I don't understand it. Like, I guess gotcha and the Among Us community are just really in tune or something. Because the amount of times I've heard the do 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 in a gotcha video is just so, so brain, like, I don't... I can't even speak. I, I literally just lost 10 of my brain cells trying to speak there. Like, I, I genuinely contracted something. I don't know if it was herpes or what, but I don't know. A juicy lips. Do you like it? No? Okay, now do you like it? This looks trash. Let's do this in Gotcha Club. I'm about to have to, like, make a whole video on how to become a gotcha tuber, bro. I mean, you have to have, number one, the Among Us sussy music. You gotta have, two, some random screen recorder for your Android or your tablet. Number three, you gotta have text-to-speech. Number four, you gotta have the boom sound effect. You gotta have the boom. You have to add that or you're not a gotcha tuber. Like, it's it's like these gotcha little short videos are, like, combining Vine and TikTok and, like, combining all the things bad about both of those, like, websites or those apps and just absolutely just destroying it. This is, like, a compilation of some kind of STD. Like, I feel like I've caught it, dude. I feel like I got some in my throat. Pause. All right? Uh, I, I, I just, I don't know. How girls see themselves in this trend on TikTok. How boys see themselves in this trend on TikTok.
once again, uh, this is this is crazy that this is our generation's form of comedy on YouTube.com. I mean, sitting up here drawing random characters, one with extreme curves to represent a girl and a stick man to represent a dude, a boy. <laughs> Nigga, I'm not laughing. It's not funny, and it's simply just making me want to just end my life. Like, I don't want to say sit here and think, like... Oh my god, speak English. I don't want to seem like I genuinely hate these gotcha tubers because don't get me wrong, I don't. I don't have anything against them because they're probably very much nice people in real life. But when it comes to content, I I'm not the biggest fan and I'm going to sit here and lie and pretend like I'm a big fan. That's why I name these videos when I name them. That's why it's an entire series on my channel to talk about content or YouTubers that I'm not the biggest fan of, obviously. Always specify this and people let this fly over their head. I, I don't genuinely dislike these people. It's mostly just their content and their channels that I'm not the big fan of. I see people just like my channel. Do I sit there and cry about it? No. I don't really care because it's just the territory that comes with being a YouTuber, dude. I mean, nobody, not everybody on the platform is going to like you. Not everybody's going to respect you. And it is what it is. Once you accept that, you'll go 10 times further. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know why people, why people, yeah. Ah, oh, such a beautiful little flower. Not only did I just save you guys from uh, numerous, numerous, numerous forms of some kind of disease, I also saved you from night ma nightmares. Cause that audio over that was uh, very creepy to say the least, and I think you would have you would have lost sleep for the for the next week, hands down. Like these gotcha tubers are just something else. Like I guarantee you, Nahima Rahman is like some. 12 year old 13 year old like sweating out gotcha life on their ipad or like their their android tablet and can i hate no i respect it because a lot of these gotcha tubers dude they're extremely big on the platform they are extremely extremely successful and uh am i gonna sit here and take that away from them no i am not because i'm just not that do type i understand of person. why they're big yes because there's a market for what they do they are gotcha tubers who are there to entertain fellow kids because most of them are still in school themselves so i understand it and i'm not gonna pretend like excuse me i don't understand it because hey i mean a lot of people don't understand why i'm a youtuber how i have an audience and uh well i do it is so what i understand it is. the market for it i get it but personally i'm not a fan of it and i don't like the content whatsoever gotcha is like it's so annoying to me i i just don't understand what it is about gotcha but i hate it how normal people draw hands first set then draw lightly over it then color it if it doesn't looks good draw again draw again until it looks good and finally looks average Look one, two, three, four, five fingers separated from each other. How abnormal people like me draw hands. Take the hand from before. Move the middle and ring finger now color adjust it. And done. One, two, three, four, five fingers and the second and third. One is linked with each other. If I'm not mistaken, we all know what that joke is supposed to be about. Maybe I'm dirty-minded, but hey, these these gotcha tubers are, are something else. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this, this video. I love you all. Thank you all for the support on the channel. I'm out. See you tomorrow. Peace.